CBSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. This is a recreation of a workstation uh, that my children use, um, and on it are various applications. They're not, it's set up in a multi-user way, so they're not all available to everyone at the same time, but this is just for illustrative purposes. And uh, although this is on my test machine that I usually use, and it's quite underpowered, and some of the applications will struggle, it'll give you an overall uh, feel of what GhostBSD and FreeBSD in general is capable of. Right, so this is an example um, desktop. There's Firefox, Clause Mail, LibreOffice, Sublime Text, Blender, Darktable, Critter, Gimp, LightZone, and ScanLight. There's Audacity, Ardour, Hydrogen, Caden Live, LMMS, MuseScore, and OBS Studio. And then we have Rose Garden, FreeCAD, OpenSCAD, Inkscape, Shotwell, CUDA Text, Apache, uh, NetBeans, Eclipse, and Mix. We're going to look at Firefox first. We don't need to really introduce this. Uh, everybody knows what Firefox is. And it runs very well on GhostBSD and FreeBSD as well. And the version is... 72.0.1 that's not too bad next up is clause mail it's a bit like Silfeed. it's a gtk based email newsreader with plugin support so that's very good for a client email software there's libreoffice of course everybody knows what libreoffice is um, so yes you can do the usual things like spreadsheets consider this is meant to be a workstation there you go nice little spreadsheet In fact, if you want to have a look at the word processing, which I think most people would use. Um, there you go. Bit of random text. Make it larger. Get the font rendering. Very nice. Very smooth. And it is version 6.3.4.2.0 plus. Good grief. So we don't want to save that. Next is Sublime Text. It's a, a Linux um, extendable cross-platform text editor and source code editor. So it's one of them programs which runs very well on FreeBSD even though it's available for Linux. It's actually in the uh, repos. Very nice too. And it is version 3.2.2 from what I could see. And I think it's, like, it's not just a text editor, of course. It's a source code editor with lots and lots of different functions. Right. Next is Blender. Again, really needs no introduction. It's not going to do much on this old machine with its um, graphics chipset, but still, you know, here it is. And available quite nicely on GhostBSD too. Next is Darktable. It's a virtual light table and dark room for photographers. So it's uh, very handy if you've got some raw files that you want to um, process or look at, negatives for instance. It's very handy. You got Krita. I think, yeah, Krita's making a name for itself uh, recently, so it you know, doesn't need much introduction, but it's a powerful painting program for artists. lots of options may not be as feature rich as GIMP but um, it's a familiar interface for those who are perhaps more used to Photoshop just gonna uh, amaze you all with my artistic endeavors there you go very nice worth a lot of money in a few years time there you go version 4.2.8 and we've got several and speaking of GIMP here it is Not to include GIMP on any uh, 
open source OS is uh, is a crime. I think GIMP should be included on every single one. So he does all the things that GIMP can do. Uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's not a self-portrait or a silhouette. And about is 2.10.14. Very nice. And don't want to save that. Light zone. A bit like dark table is for um, photographs and images. But it lets you edit them um, rather than just process them. So it's a digital photo editor. I would show you in uh, demonstration, but I don't think I've got any photographs which you can use. Next is Scanlight. Scanlight is an image scanner based on the KSAN backend. And it's very handy too, and it works flawlessly for me. Just uh, plug a scanner into any FreeBSD or GhostBSD, etc. box, detects it, scan it. And there, to appease all my uh, Linux subscribers, there we are, is a Linux magazine that I scanned. I'm just going to save it. Just to show that I'm not... Uh, a Linux here too, as I sometimes get accused of being. Just going to load it up. And Bing, there we go. Very nice. Could crop the edges a little bit, but it's okay. Next on, we're going to try some audio software. There's not going to be any audio in this, so I can't demonstrate them, but we'll have a quick look. There's Audacity. Well, again, like the other ones, the main ones, it's uh, it needs very little introduction, but it's a fantastic open source um, sound editor. We can use some nice VST uh, plugins as well. Uh, do I? Here we go. Yeah, it's uh, this one is a yeah, it's it's kind of like a um, digital audio workstation. Um, it does rely on Jack, which I haven't set up, and to be honest, really is not the easiest uh, thing to set up. I'll look into setting it up one day and doing a video, but at the moment, no. So uh, we'll have a look at that later. Hydrogen. It's a advanced drum machine. It's very complicated, but it's essentially you assign a uh, an instrument to each one of them, and then you just uh, you mark on the track where you want it to appear, and bada bing, bada boom. It's almost like a simplified um, fruity loops, I suppose. Caden Live. For many people who do YouTube will also know what uh, Caden Live is. Although it does default to this um, hard to see default theme. Uh, I'm not into changing themes on things because uh, the way it looks, but this one uh, is a necessity. Uh, slightly better now we can actually see some things uh, pop up. I'll have to do, but if you know Caden Live, you know Caden Live. LMMS. There we are. Another digital audio workstation. Very nice. Muse score. A fantastic piece of software is this. You hook this up via MIDI to a uh, compatible keyboard, and you've got yourself a uh, both a recorder and a player. It's it's really good. I mean, I use it with my children all the time, and it's uh, it helps them endlessly with their uh, music homework. OBS Studio. Well, OBS Studio is uh, is a, it's 
it had problems with the video chipset in this test machine, so it's not uh, it's not Ghost BSD or OBS uh, Studio's fault not showed up. It's just the way it is with this old machine, but it's a fantastic piece of software. Rose Garden, it's another very I mean, seemingly complicated, but once you get used to it, easy to use um, music creation software. Very, very uh, extendable. Packed full of features. Very nice. It's, it's quite old, but it's still actively developed. And uh, I think that's one of its appealing things. Yeah, it's been going for 20 years. Yeah, very good. Free CAD. Again, this whole machine is going to struggle showing anything uh, on the screen. But FreeCAD is a, a very, it's an easy to use uh, computer design program with a ton of features that I really ought to learn. But if you're into um, doing any of that or you need that for your project or your homework, this is fantastic. OpenSCAD, it's another CAD program. Slightly different in the sense that it uses, um, you can actually program it to achieve the results you want rather than just uh, visually inputting them. So on the left hand side, you actually got what's looked like a script, code, and that you can change it um, that way. It's, it's very good. Far more complicated to use than the, uh, the previous one, FreeCAD. But then again, it's a different audience. Inkscape. Well, Inkscape is Inkscape, as we all know. It's the one that I use for all my graphics. If I'm doing any thumbnails or title screens, etc., then uh, I'll use Inkscape. Yeah, 0.92 seems to have uh, been at that particular version for uh, forever. One day they'll update it. They'll release it as 1.0. Shot well. Now, if you've got any photographs, then this will uh, organize them for you. Some of these have only got one picture, and that's the uh, newly scanned PNG. Uh, we'll see if. Um, there we go. So if you had a whole folder full of them, it would organize them for you and you could label them and put dates on them and categorize them. Very nice. You've got some basic editing that you can do on your pictures as well. And it's version 0.30.8. Next is CUDA text. It's another text editor, um, but again, it's, it's more than that. It's uh, kind of aimed at programmers, a bit like Sublime. And very nice as well it is. Apache NetBeans. Now this is a um, an IDE. So it's for your programmers out there and your developers. Um, it's a very simplistic uh, user interface, but that belays a very, very extensible and uh, complicated system. So you can have all these uh, plugins, fantastic. And you can actually make this NetBeans into really the IDE that you want. There's not for no reason they don't call it integrated. And it's as simple as that to add uh, a new plugin to give it a new function. Read the license, blah, 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 very good. And that's that. Check for updates. No updates. But yeah, it's very nice. And it is at version uh, 1. Point, no, 11.1 .1, using Java 1.80. Hmm. 
Very nice. Next is Eclipse. It's another IDE. And we'll just have a look at the version. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not reading all that out, but yes, it's very good. And finally, but not least, we got Mix, which is a DJ, well, a virtual DJ deck. Let's you do some mixing and live streaming. And just generally, uh, if you're interested in like DJing, it's something that you should use. 2.3.3. Although this video was bereft on detail on the particular applications. I hope it gives you an impression of the overall availability of software for FreeBSD and GhostBSD if you wish to make your own workstation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.